Hi guys and welcome again to my channel. Uh, today I will be reviewing a new pistol I bought recently which is uh, a small 22 long rifle pistol called uh, the Beretta 71 or the Beretta 70. I'm not sure which, it, which one it is, which model it is because there are a lot of videos on YouTube uh, saying this is a 70 or a 71 and uh, I believe in, in America you have the 70 or the 71 which you guys call New Puma or Jaguar and in one of those models has a different slide release and also different grips the, the logo on it is different and another problem is that my slide doesn't have any decent markings on it if we just wait there we go all it says is PB for Pietro Beretta and then made in Italy. It doesn't say anything about the model. But I guess it's a 71 or a 70. I'm, I'm really not sure. It's, it's, it's a, at least it's a, it's a 70 series as you would call it. I'm not sure. So uh, let's take a look at the weapon. Make sure it's empty. Nothing in the magazine and of course nothing in the chamber uh, this gun is a very fun plinker to shoot with at the range it has a very short barrel but it's it's pretty accurate for its size it's still uh, it's still a great shooter and it's very manageable you can you can grab it easily with one hand and um, with the magazine it's a uh, it's a nice little package. Everything works flawlessly. Uh, I haven't had any hiccups yet with this gun. I've shot about uh, 200 rounds through it yet uh, uh, already, which isn't that much, but it still it, it it works and works and works. It just shoots. It it it's not in that good of a condition, but. Um, it's okay. I mean, I just bought it as a companion to my uh, 76S, which, is, uh, which isn't as beat up as this one. The other one is in, in a great condition, but as you can see, the slide is, is pretty banged up. The bluing is just chipping off at some, some points. This is a gun which, is, uh, which was produced in... If we can get it to focus in 1979, which you can see by the frame markings, they're not very, they're not really showing up on video, but the frame markings here um, make this gun or place it rather in, in 1979. So it was produced in 1979. I already uh, field stripped this completely, so uh, full disassembly, and it's it's very easy because it's a it's a very simple pistol on the inside, and I did it with the help of um, of a video. I think it's from uh, Model Seventy One uh, on YouTube. You have the full disassembly and the full assembly. I don't know if it's in Croatian or or something like that. It's in a different language, and that was a very helpful video. So let's just field strip it very quickly. As you can see, it is empty again. What you do is um, you just pull the slide back until you get to this notch here. Let me just get it to focus. There we go. And then what you do is you turn this lever because it says here next to the lever, smontaggio, which means disassembly in Italian. And of course, you also have frames which say disassembly in English. You just turn this lever and then the whole top part, as always, comes loose. And then you can take out the recoil spring and the recoil spring guide rod and the barrel. There we go. That's your basic field strip, as you can see. This is another... Um, example to show you how banged up this gun actually is if I can get it to focus not really, there we go uh, 
you can see the bluing on the on the barrel is almost completely gone one thing I find interesting about this pistol is um, the open slide design as always which uh, which kinda is a trademark of Beretta and um, as you can see they cut the slide open here on the front and put the front sight on the barrel itself which is a kind of kind of a fun fun thing to do I don't know <laughs> if you look at the if you look if you look at the 92 it has the um, front sight on the slide and they just didn't make the cut but it is kind of interesting that they did that I guess they did it so they could use it for other designs. I don't know, maybe they didn't, but as you can see, this is the one, his bigger brother, you could say. It is exactly the same frame. This one is also empty. It is exactly the same frame. So if you would place them on top of each other, they're like brothers, really. <laughs> Um, and as you can see, the way they put this one in, the way they made the slide for the 76S is they just cut off this top part. So you have the open slide for the target model. Another fun, uh, fun thing about this is that I can use the bigger magazines of the 76S as a, a kind of extended magazine for the 71. It just fits, which is nice. Because this small magazine has a capacity of, uh, I believe it's eight rounds, seven. With eight rounds, it doesn't function that well, but with seven, it does just fine. And again, this is the 10 rounder of the target model as you can see it's just on the same height again this is a very classic looking pistol you could say it's it's kind of like the um, the Italian version of the PPK I don't know I, I could I, I kind of like to think it's it's mine my Italian PPK because I still haven't found a decent PPK yet to buy. It's a fun gun and it's a, a nice looking pistol as always from Beretta. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Roger Moore actually uses one as a, as a stand-in for Walther PPK. So there you have it. Uh, that's my small review on uh, the Beretta 71. Thank you.